All right, guys, we are going to add some new information to the Moskova guided missile cruiser sinking. Uh, more information is available. And let's take a look so we can come to a conclusion versus some old time Soviet propaganda that's just uh, pretty underachieving in this day and age. So here we have an actual photograph of the Moskva dead in the water, crew fully abandoned the ship, and we can see some scorch marks at the waterline. Take note of those. All right, let's look in the past. Uh, 1987, the USS Stark is accidentally, if you want to call it that, uh, struck by an Iraqi Exocet anti-ship missile. And let's look at the smoke emitting from the waterline. And the damage control team was able to save the ship. And the, the frigate is much smaller than a, a cruiser. It's a much smaller vessel. Therefore, the impact was greater. Yet the crew was able to save the ship without propaganda. Reality is, the loss of the Moskva is a big blow to the Russian Navy. As they have always used the word invincible armed forces. Reality looks like inexpensive drones used simultaneously with anti-ship missiles ended the run of the Moskva on the Black Sea it's more than likely that the drone flights overwhelmed radar operators aboard the Moskva, providing a window for an anti-ship missile strike. Not the first use of an anti-ship missile in combat by the Ukrainians, as the amphibious warship or was sent to the bottom by an anti-ship missile. Photos of the crew do not help the Russian cause in any way. It is quite evident they are hiding casualties, possibly even mass casualties, from a poor situation that they can only make worse. The families of Russian sailors deserve better. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you keep updated on the situation in the Ukraine if you wish to do so, uh, please subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you up again soon.